Today is Friday, April 21, 23rd, 23rd, 2021. 2021. Today it will be sunny and cold. Today for choice is drinking everything and talking shit with what's the morning break. Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Friday. I hope you've had a great week. I know I have. Uh, Today, I want to share a book with you, and it is called, What Do You Do With an Idea? Today, uh, we are dressing up like our passion, something we're very passionate about. And you can see I have earrings that have books on it, and I have my book dress on. It has pictures of books and words on it. When I was a little girl, My family didn't have a lot of money, but one thing that I could do is I could read. I could go to the library, I could pick out books, and I remember going to the library every week and getting a bunch of books, and I would read the books. And one thing I loved about reading the books is I could read about different places. And so even though I couldn't travel to those places, I could read about those places. And in my imagination, I could go anywhere. I could read about people and places and things. And most of all, I could read about ideas. And reading those books gave me a lot of ideas. And so I was constantly thinking about ideas. And I wonder, do you ever have an idea? I know that you guys do. And having ideas and being creative and thinking about those ideas, wow, that's so important because that helps us to be inventors and be creative. So I'm going to read you a book that's called, What Do You Do With an Idea? So when you have an idea, what do you do with an idea? So here we go. What do you do with an idea? One day, I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered, what do you do with an idea? At first, I didn't think much about it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just walked away from my idea. I acted like it didn't belong to me. There's the idea over here. But it followed me. I worried. What would others think? What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and I didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as if it was before my idea showed up. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, my idea wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger and we became friends. It I showed it to other people even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they might laugh. I was afraid they would think I was silly, and many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. And at first, I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. But then I realized, what do they know? This is my idea. No one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. So I decided to protect it. I decided to care for my idea. I decided to feed it good food. I worked with it. I played with it. But most of all, I gave it all my attention. 
my idea grew and grew and so did my love for it. I built a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up in the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It allowed me, I'm sorry, it showed me how to walk on my hands because it said it's good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then one day something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and it burst into the sky. I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. And it wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea. You change the world. So boys and girls, what idea do you have? And how will your idea change the world? That's what I want you to think about for Fun Friday. Bye-bye. Let's go ahead and do our JPS mission statement. JPS kids soar, like our idea, higher. Super problem solvers, outstanding writers, accomplished readers, ready for success. And now for our success equation, hard work plus resiliency plus teamwork equals success. Have a fun Friday. Have a good day.